One thing that any team needs, whether it's a team of two people or a team of 50, is the team's purpose. They need to understand and be bought into why you're doing the things you're doing. And only then they can really get fully involved and be accountable to the things that help you achieve what you want to achieve. I'm a, I'm a big fan of documentation within teams and getting everyone to both be aligned to the things that we're putting together for the team and also be a part of that process. And this is why I think one of the most important things to be putting together to start with is a team vision. And this can sound a little bit fluffy at times, but believe me, this is a really important building block that helps you set effective goals and build out playbooks aligned to those. So this doesn't need to be overly complicated. I tried to summarize this up into one to two sentences and keep it very, very high level. It's detached from any of your, your goals, for example. This could be something as simple as, you know, our team's purpose is to drive net new customers into X part of our business via organic search. It could be as simple as that. The more expansive your team, whether you're focused on growing the customer delight of customers within a certain segment or size or building out new programs, just keep it very, very high level. That's the, the first starting point here. So you have your vision. A really useful thing to do with, when you're putting together a vision, and especially when you're trying to distill this down into one to two sentences, which sounds a lot easier than it actually is in practicality, is start with a quick view of like today versus tomorrow. This, again, is not specific to goals, just very high level, what your team is there for, what the problem is or the opportunity is, and where you're at today with that thing, and then where you want to be tomorrow. And tomorrow you can define as in a year's time, two years, three years, six months, right? That's, that's up to you. But this helps people visualize and understand the most important things that you're doing as a business, uh, as a team. And it could be... I would say a maximum of four to five uh, different things. And don't go into super granular detail here. This might be as simple as today, we rely solely on paid acquisition to drive net new customers into our business. Tomorrow, organic search represents the largest channel for net new customer acquisition, right? You, you see that. We're kind of loosely talking about a goal in a way, but it's much more attached to what an opportunity is, what the purpose is. And it's kind of like, here's today, here's tomorrow. And now we need to fill in the gaps of how we get there. Take that for just the most important things that your business cares about in relation to your team and put that in a nice quick table. That will often really help you to then turn that into a, a, an overarching vision. To achieve the vision, you need goals. It can't be super loose, otherwise no one's going to have any kind of level of accountability, and it's really difficult to assign projects and budget to to the to hitting the goals that you want. Starting off really loosely, right, could be a, a broad goal to increase product page organic traffic. For a goal, you need KPIs, right? What are the actual metrics that tell us whether we were successful or we were not successful? And those KPIs might be monthly organic search traffic going to a selection of product pages that you define. And then what I like to do, I like to put things in nice, neat tables. So it's very, very clear um, and simple for both my team and leadership to, to be able to view this today and then tomorrow, right? Tomorrow, you'd probably want to much more clearly define that timeline. So that could be today we have 5,000 organic search visits. By the end of next year, we want to bring that up to 50,000, right? Organic search visits per month. So whatever that might be. And you want to line that up for the most important goals for your business, for the business in relation to your team, that is. So again, goals are going to vary. The number you have, you're probably going to have slightly more here and you may want to break them down into broader objectives uh, depending on the, the scope of your team. This really is all about building accountability. And they should filter up into the core vision that you've talked about. Now, if you're gonna hit goals, you need playbooks, right? Playbooks, for example, to drive 
product page organic traffic, one of our playbooks might be building backlinks into our product pages so that they drive up in rankings and end up creating more traffic. That's an individual playbook. Now, all playbooks should be linked to a goal. If you haven't already watched my video on project prioritization, I would highly recommend that. It's a, it's a really relevant and useful piece that I'm not going to get into much granular detail that you can put together and more importantly, have as an operating model for your, your team to follow as well. But what I like to do is take each of the goals and then list out all of the individual playbooks that, and this is when you can start to get more granular now. And again, I'd have this all in a single document. So it's all in one place or a slide deck or however you want to present this. When you've put together a lot of these playbooks, what I would say is you don't want all of this information to just be coming from you. You probably want to set the goals. If you have a much larger team, you'll work with your team leads on their individual kind of team goals within that. But make your team a part of this, right? Walk them through and ensure everyone's feeling good about the goals. And if they're not feeling good about the goals, what gets them feeling better about them? Is it they need more resources? We need more cash. We need deeper expertise in the team. We need more time, right? All of those things. And it's a, um, a balancing act there of what you need, the business needs, and what's achievable. But if they're going to have goals that they're accountable for, they need to be able to say, okay, well, these are going to be the things that I believe we should be doing. Depending on the level of seniority of the individual contributors on the team that own those goals and the people managers as well that they bubble up to, if you have those layers in your team, they're going to be more or less involved in that. Sometimes it's going to be a bit more about uh, kind of coaching around, okay, I believe what uh, that they've got the experience to come up with playbooks and you just kind of, kind of coach them in the right direction through to teaching. And that's where you're going to be a bit more hands-on, maybe more junior members of staff and you're going to assign them some playbooks and get them focused on it that's coming from you. But it should definitely be a two-way conversation when you're creating a lot of this information with your team. They're just going to be bought in with it a lot more if you do it that way as well. And I think the most important thing is when you've put all of this together, so you've got a team vision, where you are today and where you want to be tomorrow, the goals, those KPIs assigned to those goals, and all of the playbooks that are going to help you achieve all of that, bring the team through it. Have conversation. This should be something that they can help change, contribute, and uh, improve as well. And that's then when you've set up a foundation where everyone's bought into it, that you can start saying, okay, and here are going to be the people that are actually responsible for doing this work. And in the next video, I'm going to walk through uh, a model called the Darcy model that I use with my team at HubSpot, a really great simple framework for building accountability and setting up responsibilities at different levels for for operating through and running different playbooks and projects so that'll be a a great thing to tune into but summarizing this out right you want to have vision goals kpis playbooks get it all into a nice strong document and then you're going to be able to start assigning who's going to be doing what and all of your team should have clarity not only that but you can use all of this to share with your leadership team, whether that's your direct manager, whether that's the rest of the executive team, depending on how the business is set up, and also make sure that all of the business partners within the business that you work with understand how your team operates and what they're focused on.